for what a game in Dambulla. Sri Lanka has done it. An emphatic nine-wicket victory over the West Indies in the third T20 wine, claiming the series 2-1 for the very first time. The crowds roared as Kusal Mendis and Kusal Pereira led the charge, cementing their place in Sri Lanka's T21 history. This game had everything. Explosive batting, breathtaking catches and spin magic. Let's dive into how Sri Lanka dismantled West Indies to seal the win. West Indies got off to a shaky start, with their top order faltering against Sri Lanka's disciplined bowling attack. Mahesh Thikshana was on fire, spinning webs around the West Indies batters, taking two for 19. But just when it seemed like they were down and out, Gudakesh Moti came to the rescue. With his power hitting, West Indies scrambled to a respectable total of 162 for eight. His quickfire 32 off 15 balls brought the innings back to life, especially with that explosive 15th over that fetch 25 runs. Then came Sri Lanka's turn. Patham Nisanka wasted no time in laying the foundation. Cracking three boundaries in the opening over, he quickly put the West Indies under pressure. Nisanka's aggressive 39 off 22 deliveries was exactly what Sri Lanka needed to keep the chase on track. He sent balls flying all over the ground, including two massive sixes off Alzari Joseph. But the real magic was yet to come. After Nisanka's departure, Kusal Mendis and Kusal Pereira took charge. They stitched together a flawless 106-run stand, never letting West Indies back into the game. Mendis played a composed yet dominant innings, finishing unbeaten on 68 off 50 balls. Pereira, on the other hand, was in a destructive mood smashing his way to 55 off just 36 deliveries. They made the chase look effortless. And before we get to the thrilling conclusion of this match, don't forget to click that subscribe button and join us for more exciting cricket breakdowns. You won't want to miss what's coming up next. West Indies had their chances though. Rovman Powell in the very first over dropped Nisanka on what could have been a game-changing catch. Roston Chase also missed a straightforward return catch off Mendis, who was on 44 at the time. As the pressure mounted, these missed opportunities only widened the gap between the two teams. Sri Lanka's chase reached its climax with 12 balls to spare. As the packed Poya Day crowd in Dambulla cheered on, the hosts crossed the finish line at 166 for one, sealing a dominant win and their first ever T20 I-Series triumph over West Indies. The spinners had done their job early on, and the batters finished it with style. It was a day to remember for Sri Lankan cricket fans. This victory wasn't just about winning a game. It marked a resurgence for Sri Lanka in T20 cricket, a format where they had struggled in recent years. With five test victories earlier this year and an ODI series win over India in July, Sri Lanka's momentum is building under new coach Sanath Jayasuriya. As for West Indies, they'll be heading back to the drawing board but the spark shown by Gudakesh Moti will give them hope for the future. What a series, what a performance. Make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the world of cricket. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.